Gina, 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 girl. So Gina, the chick from The Mandalorian, got fired because she made some remarks that people thought she shouldn't have. So here's her response. And just let me know what you think. I'll read it to you. The Daily Wire is helping me make one of my dreams come true to develop and produce my own film. I am sending this out as a direct message of hope for people living in fear of cancellation by the totalitarian mob, whatever that word is. I have only just begun to use my voice, which is now freer than ever. And I hope it inspires others to do the same. They can't cancel us if we don't let them. If this isn't what an Aries would say, I don't know what is. This is textbook Aries. So I went and took a look at Gina's chart. I was fascinated because like, I like that. I liked that the Aries was like, nah, girl, I said what I said. And who's got a problem with it? I'll knock it out. Gina's got a sun in Aries, a moon in Aqua, Mercury in Taurus, a Libra rising, and fun fact, a Mars in Libra, which is not a very good fighter aspect, but that sun in Aries will knock you the fuck out. So with this sun in Aries, Gina wants to be the first. She wants to be the pioneer. She wants to be known for something. She wants some notoriety. She wants the spotlight. She wants the fame. She wants the recognition. Aries wants to be on top. Yes, they get a bad reputation of being called selfish, crybabies, immature, always ramming their heads into the wall, hoping for a different result. But you know what? We need people like people like Gina, people like Aries, who will keep pushing their agenda forward no matter what. I mean, how else do we create change sometimes, whether or not to push our agenda forward? Because if you back down and fail, that is not the Aries way. I don't know what they were expecting from homegirl. That's why I said people need to hire an astrological employee on their team. Because there is some facts to this. Because you should have known what you was going to get from this girl. Did you think you was going to get an apology? Nah, it ain't coming. I'll tell you why. Gina also has sun opposite Pluto. She's very domineering, has a strong personal power. She also has the ability to impose her will on others, whether they like it or not. Uh, Gina also has got a sunshine Neptune. I mean, delusional much, but Neptune people are also visionaries, but they don't always see the world the way others see them. Which is why we need people also who are Neptune focused, people who see past what us mere mortals could see. Although with the sun trying Neptune and sun opposite Pluto, Gina's going to run herself into a little bit of a hole if she doesn't come back down to earth and realize that sometimes you got to play fair with people. You got to be a team. It can't always be me. But... Because Gina is an Aries, she don't give a damn what I just said. Gina's also got Neptune in the third. More foggy, more fuzzy communication. Her world is exactly how she wants it to be. That's something that Neptune people have in common. They can put together a world based on their own imagination and creativity. Their own fantasy world. Gina is very fantastical in her communication with that Neptune in the third. With that moon in aqua, Gina detached faster than I can get off this phone and post this video. All right. Gina was like, look, I said what I said. Now I'm going to go get something to eat. You guys can go over there and be in your fields if you want to, but I'm going to be over here doing good. Not letting you see me cry. You'll never, you, uh, if an Aries lets you see them cry, Consider that to be like your lucky day because it probably won't ever happen again. With that Mercury and Taurus, Gina could be a little slow in the uptake. I'm sorry if you guys have Mercury and Taurus, but you just take a little bit longer to catch on than others, though. I mean, it's cool. You guys are great rappers, though. So that's how I feel about Gina. We need people like Gina, people with Aries, people to plow through and do what they want to do. Make change, Gina. Don't let them put you in a box, girl. Nobody puts baby in a corner, ever. So you smirk, you go get yourself a sandwich and a Starbucks and you let them know you will not be controlled. Not today, not tomorrow, not ever. Thanks for tuning in.